what's going on everybody today I wanted to do a little fly through and sort of first look for me at least of the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 map Overwatch Overwatch has actually been out for a little while now and I kinda wanted to wait a little while on this one as opposed to the other ones where I jumped right into them and just did a quick run through without getting much of a thought on them other than first impressions but this one Overwatch I've actually had some time to play and I'm I'm pretty happy with it I think I still preferred the two uh, original drops of Pisa, I think I called it Plaza when I first ran through it, but Pisa and Liberation as a whole together, like them two si shipping together was uh, really good. I I just preferred the how it finally had an open, a really good open environment and a really good tight closed quarters environment. That wasn't a small map, but a medium sized. But Overwatch is, is a really good map, described as unfinished top of a skyscraper, features tense demolition matches. And honestly, I feel this, this map works really good for everything even though uh, I think Domination is probably the best thing I've played on it so far and I'm still waiting to play Capture the Flag. I'm dying to play Capture the Flag on this, so... Check that out real quick. It actually, it reminds me, it's got a great view, which is something that, I mean, you might not think about, but it, it should, you know what I mean? Like, a map should look good. It, it should. And some of the maps in Modern Warfare 3, besides not being good maps on their own, look kind of boring. Just kind of the same lame jungle or suburban city. It's just... Well, seeing from the o the uh, the whole overlook right here, you can tell it's a circular map with kind of ends on it, but it's got different levels to it, so it makes things interesting. And I think that's one thing that does make things just more interesting on their own, adding another kind of look to it. So, just looking around already, you can kind of see, like, man, we are high up. And that just gives you a, a, an epic feel of just playing a regular multiplayer game, just gives you kind of an epic feel of where you are. Um... Doing things like just, just looking around at first, this this is a base right here. This is sort of like you would call this, classify this as a base up here. We've got, this is a place where a domination point would be, or I assume a flag. I have not played Capture the Flag here at all. And I find that a little disappointing because I think it would be a really good Capture the Flag map for a big team. But uh, this is where the domination point would be. There would be one in the middle, which would be down over around here, which we have a middle point. E either team has a lookout point here, but they can get up here. And that's where the domination point would be, and then opposite would be the other uh, C or A point. So I really like that. It's already a, like a symmetrical base map, and it, it reminds me a lot of a Halo map, um, or a Halo design map, if anyone's ever played Halo. I thought Halo always had great maps, and I really felt like it had a good base-on-base -base feel, and then a good in-between. And it really does. And the thing about this map is it's it's big, it's wide open, but it's it's got a lot of different ways to go. So there's no, like, you're not just always running through the middle and always getting mowed down by some guy camping at the end. We can go all the way around, and then we can choose to go underneath their base or above their base. Now, I don't like this side's base quite as much. I don't know why. It's it's not as open. It doesn't feel... Uh, it feels more tight quarters over here, but that can be good for someone who might want to, you know, uh, just defend the uh, objective point with a shotgun or something. And then this was where their flag would be. And then heading down here, we kind of get a more open side. This side is usually more open. That side is a bit more closed, I feel like. And we can't actually get in here, which I feel is kind of disappointing. I'm not sure why they did that. I think they should have opened this up to let us go through here, but that's a very minor complaint because this is their whole, like, back, and we can just flank around if we needed to. Someone could camp down here and wait for uh, someone to try and take the flag. But they also have uh, a couple of little in-between ways you can go. This is like the main place everyone fights for in Domination. and it, It's not a bad little overpass here. You can also jump down from up there. and You can still get another look at how far up we are. It's, it's a good amount of detail, and I really, really like that. And then coming up the opposite way, and like I said, each team has a little room in here where they can overlook kind of everything and kind of get like a little standpoint. And then we've got a balcony up here with a bridge. And I just, I really like the whole thing. We've even got, like, a little bit of detail of a guy who, like, oh, man, poor dude. Poor dude. He did his best. And I don't know. I really, I really like the whole way everything is set up here. Like, here, you can't go over here, but I don't know why they would put this here. I think you can actually, yeah, this is kind of cool. I really do like this. This is something I don't see a lot of people doing. And you can also go through there. You can go through, um over here. There, you can actually get out up here. This kind of reminds me of uh, High Rise, I believe it was, in Modern Warfare 2. It's, it's kind of similar like that, but a bigger map and like not as much uh, inside where you get spawn trapped. As for air support on this map, air support I think is pretty decent. It's You know, you can get caught in air support. Obviously, there's some underground parts, there's some inside parts you can get into to get away from air support, but it's also because it's so open, it's also very easy to shoot it down. So I think air support is very even in that regards because it's, it's, it can tear people up if they're outside, but if they there's nowhere for the air support to hide. There's nothing, you know, to really block the missiles for the air support. So that kind of, uh, I think it's pretty even in that respect. And I really like this map. I think it works good for just about any type of gun, really. Shotgun snipers, assault rifles, LMGs. I actually usually use LMGs here. And this is cute. I like this. 
Woo! <laughs> yeah. It's one of those little things I really like. I like those little things they add in. And I don't know why there weren't more cool maps like this with, like, little things. And I just like the way this map is set up. Like I said, it kind of reminds me of Halo. It has a really good uh, moving system over where you can choose if you want to go up, down, left, right. You know, I, I really like that. And there's even little, like, uh, sneak passes like that beam I walked across earlier. I love stuff like that. That kind of stuff really makes it awesome. And a lot of the games, like I said before, uh, a lot of the games, a lot of the maps did not ship with anything kind of like that. They were just kind of boring, bland, and average. And I didn't... I just, they just didn't catch my eye, so I'm really glad at least a few of these coming out. I would hope so, but at least a few of these are uh, pretty good maps so far, so I'm actually pretty happy about that. But yeah, that's kind of what, I, like I said, I like this base the best. I just, ah, it reminds me of Halo a lot, and that's not to compare Halo to Call of Duty. Like, let's not have an argument about which one's better. Let's uh, let's agree on their uh, benefits for both of them, you know what I mean? So, just, you know, give me my thoughts on the map. I'd probably give it like a, like a 3 out of 5, or a f maybe a 4 out of 5. I'd go as far as to say 4 out of 5, because... Like I said, scenery is amazing. A lot of little things I like. The map plays really well. It's great for uh, any kind of. It's even good for uh, like you know just regular team deathmatch. But it's really good for uh, obviously objective was put in mind for this. And I love objective beams. So that's kind of my thoughts on the map. I mean, feel free to let me know what you guys thought. Is this a rip off? Was it just sad that it was just one map shipped with it? I thought it was okay that it was just this one map because it's going to be like monthly content. I hope. And uh, yeah, other than that, it's it's this is pretty much it for me. So yeah, I thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought, and until next time, I'll catch you later.